This world is the way it is because we are the way we are. And we are the way we are because there is karma. to the life that we have created. Last week, last year, last life. This is our karma. We cannot escape it. Karma is a Sanskrit word. It means action. We can easily see some of our karma. Let's just think of what we did yesterday, last year, in our childhood, or in our last life, if we can remember that. Whatever we did, this is our karma. This has become our life. Now, the Buddha says life is about suffering. Very often, we create suffering for ourselves or for others. We know that. We say bad things. We are impatient. We hurt. We do create suffering around us. This means we fill our own world with suffering. How can we expect to find anything else in this world other than suffering? We will find exactly what we have previously provided. We can create our own hell but we could just as well create heaven. Wherever we look in this universe, there is cause and effect. Nothing ever happens out of thin air. This law of cause and effect also applies to our destiny, to the way our life evolves. Whatever we do, whatever we even think, will have some effect on our life even if just a tiny little bit. Our thoughts and feelings form the world within us. Our words and actions form the world around us.
we are constantly shaping our world. And we are shaping our life, little by little. Because for every cause, there must be an effect. Whatever we do or think shapes our world a tiny little bit. Be it towards greed and anger, or be it towards loving kindness, we can increase suffering in our world or we can prevent suffering. It is up to us. So our actions directly affect our world, our own, as well as other people's world. Because from a Buddhist perspective, all is one. Nothing is separate, all is connected. We are all connected. Our own future and the future of others. They interact like cogwheels in a clock. They are one. Let's see our life as a garden. If we take good care of it, it can be beautiful. Obviously, this will take time and effort. And obviously, there are a lot of things in our garden beyond our control. The weather, the seasons, or maybe some other people. Our present life is created by our karma. We cannot escape it. Since we have created suffering in the past, there will be future suffering too. The future is just the echo of our past actions. For a long time, we have been filling the world around us with our anger and greed. And now it is still there. For example, in the reactions and the feelings of the people around us in various situations. The suffering we have previously created will now create new suffering. So, is there a way to actually prevent future suffering? Yes, there is. Our past unwholesome karma is like a drop of dirty water on the bottom of a big jar. It is there. We cannot change it. We cannot remove it. But we can add clean water, drop by drop, little by little. After some time, the jar will contain almost perfectly clear water again. Since we cannot get rid of our unholy
Our karma is the bond that ties us to past suffering. And that will create future suffering too. If we want to be free, we need to cut this bond. We need to prevent the creation of new suffering. So our life can be better. Next week. Next year. Next life. Thank you.